Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and today I wanted to show you how I cut my own hair. So to start off, you're going to first need a few things. You're going to need a white tooth comb or a hairbrush design to use on wet hair, which I'll be using the uh, wet brush. You're also going to need a pair of scissors designed to cut hair. I'll be using these um, tweezer man scissors and I'll link them below, but I would definitely recommend using scissors designed for cutting hair. It makes a huge difference and I would not cut my hair if I wasn't using um, scissors specifically to cut hair. And you're also going to need just a regular hair tie. So to go ahead and get started, you want to take your freshly washed hair. I just washed mine with shampoo and conditioner and I put just a little bit of um, some argan oil in the ends just to make sure they were smooth um, because I do have split ends which is why I'm getting my <laughs> gonna cut my hair today so you're just gonna brush through your hair like so making sure you're getting all the tangles and knots out and then you're just gonna start making sure you're brushing it straight back from the top of your head you're gonna brush straight back and move along the side of your head all on both sides. Okay. Then you're going to flip your head over and continue brushing your hair straight forward. You're going to begin gathering your hair to form a ponytail at the front of your forehead. So, or at the top of your forehead. You want to make sure that this hair stays straight, that it's going straight forward, and the sides are going to the side, like so, and like so. If you have any bumps, make sure to brush them out. Okay. You're then going to take your elastic and secure your hair right at the top of your forehead. So my band is very close to my forehead. Then, then just brush through the ponytail, making sure it's nice and straight. And this is why it's called the ponytail. And I call it the unicorn ponytail because you look like a unicorn. <laughs> um, so then I make sure that the hair from the back of my head is at the, on top of the ponytail. And I kind of make it into like a, um, a flattenish so it's straight like this. Okay. So once I have it straightened out, I take it pretty parallel to my forehead where it's coming out and I place my fingers to about where I want to cut it off. I keep my fingers there, and since I'm going for a deep V cut in the back, I want the, my longer hair to be in the back of my head, and I want it to kind of frame around my face, so the shorter ends right here. So I'm going to cut my hair at an angle the more severe of the angle, the shorter the front pieces will be. So make sure you keep that in mind with the total length that you're cutting off. So I keep my fingers parallel to my head and then I just very carefully cut and I just start cutting very slowly. So I've cut only a small amount. This is usually the longest that I'll actually cut off <laughs> my um, at one time. I definitely recommend cutting a very little bit when you're starting off um, and checking the length and checking the cut to see if it's if you cut it correctly and if you like it. Um, so then again, I'm just checking, making sure it looks pretty um, straight. Then I just go in and 
um, point cut, very little amount. Just a very little amount. Then I'm going to remove my ponytail and we'll luff it out. And you can see how it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. So you still have the length in the back. All right, so I'm going to go and dry and straighten my hair so you can actually see what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, so now I have dried and straightened my hair. And this is kind of what it looks like. If you can see the, um, you can see how it's shorter in the front um, with some layers around my face and then it's longer in the back. I still got to keep all of my length and a little bit of layering in the front. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.